Yell so on Warfighters, my name is Pwnstar. We're playing a little bit of Medal of Honor Warfighter for the PC. Enjoy some nice heavy gunner gameplay. I think I'm using the PKP right now. Uh, the Iron Sight, not the Iron Sight, but the, I always say that for some reason. The scope actually is very, very confusing for me. It's not the kind of scope that I use, but with Burst Fire, it's really, really maintainable. And after using it a few games in a row, I actually preferred it in an awkward experience kind of reality thing. But anyways, I'm here for a little story time. I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. And uh, if you guys have followed my About Me series that I did have to discontinue, I guess, I'd euthanize that series a little bit. And, uh... If you guys remember, if you guys did see that one episode where I was talking about how when I was younger, I was diagnosed with ADD and ADHD. And I've talked about this before, how I think um, doctors basically say, oh, you're ADD, you're ADHD, to basically define and, you know, tell somebody that they are broken or too hyper or something like this when actually uh, ADHD stands for what is it? Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, if I remember correctly. And it's basically the process of being very, very... Of it being very, very difficult to focus on one certain topic, it, it basically allows my mind to be full of 18, 20, 30 different things. Right now, I'm thinking about this commentary, what to say next, what I need to do tonight, what I'm doing for dinner, what to do with this offer on the house we made. I've got so many things flowing through my head right now. It's very, very difficult for me to try to focus on one thing, uh, which is probably why it takes me like five attempts to do a commentary. But... You know, ADD is kind of a burden, but at the same time, I don't think it's something that people need to medically diagnose or something like that. And the reason I'm telling you about this is because something happened to me a few days ago that really shook me up a little bit. It made me a little uncomfortable, to, to be completely honest. It made me uncomfortable, but at the same time, it was refreshing to know something. Because when I was younger, my mom put me on the uh, medication. I was on Adderall, which was, you know, for, I guess, the most common terms, Ritalin, uh, which is basically, you know, a drug to counteract that, a, a pill, a medication, to help uh, the kids a little, uh, a little bit along the way to, I guess, maturity, understanding, dealing with the disability of ADD. So I, I understood that when she was younger, she put me on that. And when I thought of that, I thought that the original me was flawed. I always felt that... I was broken and my mom wanted to fix me and that the normal we was not good enough and that you had to contain and, I guess, tame what Star originally was. And I hated the idea and the concept of taking a medication to change me. I felt like I was, you know, flawed. I felt like I was a mistake and nobody liked me and that I wanted and that they needed to fix me to make me a better person or somebody that they can tolerate or be around. And... I, I never really did like the feeling. Um, I always rebelled against it. it. The product did work. You know, Adderall really, really did work. What it did, it did simple things. What it did, it took away my appetite. And I think it's because most people eat because they're bored. I mean, when, when you're so focused and you're focusing on one thing, uh, and it, I guess it controls and limits what you can do. So what it does is appetite is generally not something that you focus on. Therefore, I used to eat one meal a day for, like, years. Like, I really never ate more than once a day. Um... So it really tamed my appetite, and it did help me focus. As much as I don't want to admit it, it really did help me line up a little bit. And I had this experience, something that I haven't had. I stopped taking it when I was about 15 years old, and the same feeling came back to me a few days ago. Gamma Labs, if you guys know who they are, they are an energy supplement product uh, organization that you know sponsors you know, you know, competitive fighters, some of the other video game commentators on YouTube. And they've been after me for a couple months to promote their product. And at, at first, I said no. I told them that I was not going to do it um, because I didn't see any real, um, I guess, market for it. I didn't see any need to pitch you guys something about, I guess, energy drinks. You know, I mean, as, as useful as it sounds, I know a lot of you guys. I mean, you see the pro gamers that are sponsored by NOS and stuff like that. So it's not that it's out of its realm. It's just I didn't feel like sending it to you guys because I felt there was only a handful of you guys that would appreciate it. And... I took the product. I know they said, "You know what, dude? Just try it out." After two months after pestering me, they're like, "You know what? Just try it out." So I'm like, "All right, dude. All right." I mean, it's just I just feel like one of those hot chicks that has this nerd that just compete, could just completely just stuck in the friend zone, keeps hitting on her over and over and over again. She gives in and it's like, "Okay, fine. You can plow me." And it's just one of those things that you know. I gave in. I tried the product out, and I went into it skeptical. You know what I mean? I was like, "There ain't no way this shit's gonna work." Because growing up. Uh, you know, back when I was hanging out with friends, you know, they introduced me into Monster Energy drinks, right? I took a shot of those things, man. I don't, I, those five-hour energy drinks, they're horrible. It's like taking straight shots of gasoline. You could tell there's chemicals and things that do not belong in the human body in those. I tried drinking a Monster, and it, it was, like, too concentrated, too strong. It was like, I take it a big swig of, like, 
elephant afterbirth or something. It was extremely uncomfortable. I hated the taste of it. I don't think it gave you energy. It just woke you the fuck up because it was so disgusting. So there were a lot of harmful things in that. So I was against trying this stuff out. I I tried it out, and the shit tasted like Kool-Aid, right? I'm like, how's this energy drink? I mean, Kool-Aid, but it was like regular Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid without... You know, I make my Kool-Aid. I mix Kool-Aid flavors up, and I smash it with sugar. You know, I'm not talking like super sweet Kool-Aid, but I'm talking like default Kool-Aid with a little sweetener in it or something. So I tried it out, and I'm like, okay, that's fine, but how is something that's going to taste so simple actually going to give me an energy boost? Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys right here. It didn't, at least in my mind, because I'm so rebellious and not willing to believe that a product like this could actually help me. And even if I was willing to believe that it did give me an energy boost, I would convince myself that it was all mental anyways, that because I'm drinking an energy drink... I'm going to think that I'm going to notice, you know, me being a little bit more energetic, but it's going to be mental, not the product. So I started to realize that it wasn't really giving me an energy boost, but it was helping me focus. The first night, the first night that I took the Gamma Labs product, I, I actually love the lime flavor. I took the Gamma Labs product. What happened was it focused me, you know, so it didn't give me an energy boost. But it, it helped me concentrate. It helped me focus. And that's when I came up with the idea of Nova Gaming. That's when I actually pulled out a, a, you know, a pad and paper and started developing ideas to help Nova get bigger and better and you know, uh, commentary topics. I have, I have seriously, outside of writing a check here and there, I never use pencil and paper. And I pulled out a piece of paper and everything like this. I realized that I wasn't hungry. I realized I was occupied thinking, pushing myself. And I was like, holy fuck, this thing. I didn't realize till the next day, but I realized looking back after I calmed down a little bit that, oh my god, this shit actually works. But not in the way that I expected it to. You know, because I was going in there all negative, like, this shit's not going to work. So I tried it out, um, and it helped me focus, which is something big. I mean, when you think about it, gaming is very, very important. I mean, to be able to do something like this, to be able to focus and help you uh, align and concentrate, is a big part of gaming. Um, you know, great for golf, sports, and something like that. You know what I mean? It's going to be great for that kind of stuff. So I found a product that works for me in a different way. I've used it about five or six times in the last two or three weeks. And the first time I tried it, I tried it because I thought it was an energy drink. I was up for like 32 hours straight. I needed an extra four hours. I was waiting up um, for, I think it was for a game release or something on a, on a Monday night. And um, I was waiting up so late, and I'm like, I need to push myself. So I took a drink of it. The first time I did give it a try after I had the product for a week and was just rebellious, I tried it. And then, like... The next day, I looked back and reflected on how I felt the day before, and I remembered that feeling. It really, it actually, it made me emotional and depressed. I remember the feeling of being so limited when I was younger, and I looked back on it, and I was like, I know what that feeling is. That feeling is what it was like when I was on Adderall, where it, it honed in my, uh, my, my mind, where I started able to focus on things. It cut my appetite, and I'm like, that felt like when I was on that medication, so then I start talking to my grandmother about it because you know, I'm, I'm close with my grandmother. She tells me about the, the ingredient in it. It's called tyrosine. And I start looking into this stuff, and I, and, I, and I look it up. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I look on it because she, she looked into it to make sure it was healthy because it had so much of it in the product. So she, re, she starts doing it. She sends me a link in the email because, well, for some reason overnight she learned how to use email. I don't know where the shit that happened from. I had to set her VCR for everything back in the day. but So she sends me an email. And list me off all the stuff from it. So I'm sitting there, you know, I thought she was being protective, sending me it like there were flaws, but there really weren't any. I mean, it looks like there was like, it was like a cure or a help to all kinds of diseases. It did affect the appetite sometimes for some people and all this stuff. And I'm like, my God, you know, so I got over the feeling of it limiting me and I started realizing that I'm an adult now and I could actually start using it when I needed it rather than being forced to take it every day to fix myself. I could use it as a tool to, you know, when I need to be up and do something for work or I want to go out and hang out with my wife. We're going to be at the mall for hours. It'd be great to get a little drink of this. So I started to think to myself, this is actually a cool product. It could actually help my viewers out. Um, it could help, you know, pro gamers, people that take sports. I mean, if you take if you take some of this and you're ready to get involved in, hell, whether or not it's chess or football, it's going to help you out to focus and be attentive and locate and understand things a little bit easier. And I really like the product. I mean, I, I it, it sounds weird. And you guys are like, oh, I'm not being paid to say this right now, guys. I swear to God I'm not. This was just a commentary topic. They're not paying me to do this. But I started to, you know, try the product out a little bit. And it, it made me uncomfortable. But at the time, I came to the realization that I could actually use it as a mature adult now to help me focus on the things that I need to focus on. So I started taking Gamma on a more consistent basis. Like the live stream that we got coming up, Nova, on um, Saturday. 
I'm gonna be I'm gonna be downing that shit during that event to keep me focused, coming up with ideas and stuff like that uh, to help commentate and everything. So I, I really do like the product, um, and I do believe I'm gonna help or get involved in some sort of an agreement with those guys. But I just wanted to put that out there and ask you guys, what do you guys think about uh, energy drinks? I mean, do you think they work? Because because I went into it just completely like, there's no way this shit works. I've had monsters and stuff. Didn't didn't bug. I got like a three minute high. That's about it. And the stuff never worked. But this worked in a way that I didn't expect it to. And I think it came out of nowhere and straight flanked my stuff in because I wasn't expecting it to do what it did. But I wanted to ask you guys what you guys think about. Uh, energy drinks or, you know, the five hour energy shots or, you know, focus supplements like this and what you guys honestly felt about it as, as viewers or, you know, people that actually do this stuff. I know guys that drink like two monsters and Red Bulls and shit a day. And I know it's not good for you where this is a little bit more healthier and I actually enjoy it. So I wanted to ask you guys, uh, to check this link out that I'm showing at the end of this. Now, if you guys want to get some gamma product, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. You guys can try it out. My favorite flavor is the green lime. Uh, the blue ice was a little stronger if you're looking something like that. The red tastes just like fucking Kool-Aid. It really did. It tastes just like Kool-Aid, just the red-flavored Kool-Aid. And yeah, I know you're like, oh, you can call it Tropical Punch Pong, but seriously, no, where I come from, they're colors. They're not flavors. That's red drink. That's 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 green Kool-Aid. We, we don't call it lime. I don't know. It's just how it is. But if you guys want to check it out, there's going to be a link down below. Now, one thing they did do as an offer, they did offer to donate a few hundred bucks for the charity event Saturday night if I did talk about their mission gunship, and because it's so awesome, I will. Now, as I said, they set up a special promotion specifically for my viewers for this event for charity on Saturday. Now, what they wanted to do is they offer up two months worth of product, uh, two months of G Fuel. They wanted to offer that up. You get a free hat, and you get a $5 discount if you use the code down below. Now, if you do that, it enters yourself twice. Most of their other stuff only enters you in once. If you do this, it enters you in twice, your name twice into the possibility of being picked to operate in Mission Gunship. Now, this mission is where you get to fly in a helicopter, shoot out of a minigun. I'm talking 4,000 rounds per minute. You shoot out of a minigun, you're flying in a helicopter, you get to shoot explosive targets, cars, everything like that. You get to shoot a 50 cal sniper rifle. You get a fun experience to enter yourself into this, so why not? Get some product, try it out. So I wanted to offer this to my viewers because a lot of Call of Duty commentators have promoted this, but not many of the battlefielders or warfighters have got a chance to see at this opportunity. It would be great if one of my viewers actually won this because what they do is they will give you a full recorded video specifically for your channel where you get a customized live video of your experiences during Mission Gunship. And if one of my viewers actually does win this, I will gladly upload it showing off exactly what you were able to do. It seems like a fun event. I'm jelly. I can't do it myself. So understand if you do want to try out the product, right now is probably the best time to do so with the deals, the discount, uh, the $5 off, and the fact that you can possibly enter yourself into a fun event like this. But either way, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the commentary. Let me know what you guys think about energy drinks overall. Do you think they work? Do you think they're useful? I want to know your opinions on the actual supplements. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Get it.